Hello everybody and welcome back to the chunk map and today I'm playing with villagers. Now I'm having a little bit of a hard time with spawn rate for um, them breeding and sometimes I think it has to do with the way they're driving around in these carts. Um, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I've rebuilt it a bunch of times, and I still have a really crappy spawn rate um, when it comes to breeding villagers. But every once in a while, they do. And I've tried a few different designs, too, where, you know, it's just uh, very hectic, very hectic. So, I don't know. I don't think it's very um, reliable, the breeding. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe it's just the chunk map. But anyways, what I got for you here today, and we're just going to push this little guy in here. And we're going to watch him get placed into a minecart. That way he gets separated from the rest of them. And you can put him wherever you want. Um, especially now with uh, villager uh, trading and stuff like that. You know, you can have them go just about anywhere you want. Um, you can make stalls for them and have them go into individual stalls. So that way you can uh, set them up for, uh, what the hell you want to call it, um, a perfect villager. So you can have uh, perfect trades, or you can have this set up so that it goes into your iron golem farm. Uh, so it's pretty easy to build. There's not much to it, to be honest with you. You take any of your breeding cells, and uh, that can be separated from the two original that are breeding. Um, there's a few designs where, you know, you'll have your two main villagers down here, and then there'll be a platform, and then there'll be another villager up top, and because there's that one villager, he'll, will, these two will be able to, uh, to breed, but that one's giving me a hard time too. Um, so anyways, uh, this one is the one from, uh, Overlooked ENT's channel, um, I'll put a link in the description below to uh, show you where uh, I use that one. Um, now this is the way it's going to set up. He has them flow out into just wherever. Okay, so now I wanted to separate them. That way I could have them go into like a, I don't know, whatever I need them for. So you hook up two, uh, two hooks with a tripwire in the middle. And this will activate this line of redstone which will come down here into a mono stable which I'm so happy we we're able to use these now and then it goes to a torch tower which activates your dispenser and this you can make it as tall as you want there's no limit on it and uh, that's it so there's not much really to this build I won't do a tutorial for it because I just pretty much will show you the only line of redstone that there was um, if you don't know how to make dispensers I'm sure there's tons of tutorials out there for it um, and if you really want me to do a tutorial on this well just comment below and I'll do one uh, but that's pretty much all my idea anyways and it should work with um, adult villagers as well so if an adult happens to grow up there he'll come and he'll join the rest of his gang out here wherever he's got to go and one thing I noticed about minecarts look when they're taking the corners they're not even on the track no more they're beside the track so that's why it's very important to leave this gap right here otherwise they're gonna take damage all the time and it's just not gonna be cool runaway cart Oh, I got it too. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's it everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out, and till the next time.